G'day, it's Roy West from Sunland Caravans. Thank you for watching what is our third fortnightly update. Please wait until the end of this video for, ex for an exciting announcement. Over the last two weeks, we've continued manufacturing caravans pretty much as normal, aside from a few changes that, uh, to the way in which we're required to work. During this time, we've completed a number of build and handovers. I would like to welcome all our new owners to the Sunland family. A special big thank you to all of our staff. Please keep an eye on our Facebook page to see these new owners and the photos and videos of their caravans. We have several more weeks ahead of us to manufacture our remaining order bank from the orders pre-COVID-19. At this stage, it looks unlikely that regulations will tighten further. The focus has been on losing, loosening regulations. We're planning to come out stronger on the other side. Service departments have slowed due to people not wanting to leave home and not planning ahead for the next trips. Basically, they've been bunkering down and staying at home. If you need work done on your caravan or a service, now is a great time and businesses are able to provide you with documents so you'll not be breaking any travel regulations. One thing I must point out is the misunderstanding and the interpretation of what the government's called essential services. Canberra's put out a list of what it calls non-essential services and if your business is not on that list, then you're considered to be essential for the sake of this pandemic. Caravan purchases and repairs are not on that list. However, caravanning is on that list, non-essential unless it's your place of residence. So what this means is you can go and get your caravan serviced or repaired, or even go and purchase a caravan, just not actually go caravanning right now. All social distancing rules still apply and travel from a hotspot may require permission and or isolation. In general, our phones have been ringing more and, we've had a very, and we have a very positive outlook. We certainly feel like we're on the upward curve from a business sense as sales have restarted. We really do anticipate the next step being that as we all get used to the situation and once there's some more relaxation put in place, that consumer confidence will return and even more caravan orders will be placed, providing us with a full order bank. If you're looking for a caravan today, we also have a selection of used caravans that you can find on our website. This is a great option if you need something for immediate delivery. While our focus has been on manufacturing and a steady increase in sales inquiries, we've also taken the opportunity to undertake some market initiatives. I'm very proud to announce that I'll be starting a podcast show. Many years ago, I was very close to being in a TV show with the late Chris Conroy, and this podcast show will have many similarities to that proposed show. The focus of the podcast show will be caravans, RVs, tow vehicles, and everything in between. And I'm so looking forward to this. It's something I've been thinking about for a very long time. It provides me an opportunity with a platform to share what I've learned over all these years. The podcast show won't be Sunland specific, so we'll speak with many other caravan manufacturers, caravan owners, industry bodies, and suppliers about new products and things, well, other things of interest in this space. Our next update, mid-May, will have our first podcast show details. I would love to hear from you about any topics you would like us to cover off in the podcast show, or maybe you'd like to be a guest on the show. Thank you for watching and see you next time.